Welcome to a long overdue episode of the Retro Cellar. Uh, it's been a couple months since I've done a video. Uh, mostly because, uh, unfortunately, I caught the Rona. I had a real bad bout of uh, COVID-19 that caused me to be uh, under the weather and uh, hospitalized for a bit. But uh, not too much about that. I am uh, better and feeling well enough to do a video. And today's video is actually going to be on this, the At Games Legends Pinball Machine. Uh, very recent purchase uh, for me. Um, I originally wanted to get the uh, At Games uh, Legends Ultimate Stand-Up Arcade, which is very hard to come by. But uh, I looked pretty closely at this and said, you know, I always wanted a pinball table. But if you want an actual pinball table, you're going to spend thousands of dollars. Anywhere from, I don't know, two to five. Some I've seen some $10,000 ones. This is in more manageable price range because it's a virtual pinball table. Um, and even some of those, uh, if you get them from uh, uh, other kinds of uh, companies that you can see online, even they go for thousands. This thing, through At Games, was about... Uh, I got it through Sam's Club for $699, but you could get it through the At Games website for about $750. So this thing has been on the market for well over a year. But one of the reasons why I did not jump the gun and get this thing sooner was because At Games didn't always have the best reputation when it came to putting out product. A lot of their stuff was kind of dubious. Uh, I also reviewed this in the past, which was developed by At Games for Sega, which is the Sega Genesis Ultimate Portable Game Player. This thing, if you remember, was garbage. It's an officially licensed product that was so bad, as well as some of the Sega Genesis flashback systems that they made, that when Sega came out with their Genesis Mini, they went a different direction, didn't have At Games do it for them because it was garbage. Also have this thing that they uh, developed a while ago called the Atari Flashback Pong and Atari Hits Blast or whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's got 20 games in it. I'll probably be reviewing this uh, very shortly in the future. But uh, because of the reputation, I waited until I read some more reviews on this thing, did a little bit more research, and figured, you know what, I'm going to get it. Uh, there are other tables out there done by Arcade 1-Up that are also about $750. I know they have like a Marvel table and a uh, Star Wars table. They look good, uh, although the screen on those is smaller. There's no uh, LCD back glass, and I think they only come with 10 tables. And you have to go through some kind of super uh, effort to modify it at all, whereas this one... We'll get a little bit into it is a little bit more modifiable than arcade one up for about the same price point so i went with this it's it's bigger uh the arcade one up is a 720 uh, pixels whereas this is a hd uh it's 1080p i believe runs at 60 frames per second um it features a 32 inch lcd hd play field with a 15.6 inch LCD back glass. It comes pre-installed with 22 Gottlieb tables that are okay. We'll look a little bit at them. They're not as good as uh, the tables that you could uh, expand on it through At Games. Uh, you can get a Zachariah or Zakaria. I don't know how to pronounce that. A lot of people don't seem to get that one right. And Taito tables. Uh, you can expand it to a about 149 tables as it stands now. There's multiple packs that you can purchase. Uh, uh, the uh, title tables go for about 24 or something, whereas the Zachariah ones go for about 50. You get four tables per pack through title and 20 some of the Zachariah tables per pack, except for volume five, which has 10 tables that are like deluxe versions. Um, you can do so many things with this. This is connected to the internet, whereas the arcade one-ups are not. You can connect it via, um, 
Wi-Fi or Ethernet. Uh, if you subscribe to uh, one of their services called uh, ArcadeNet, you can even play arcade games on this thing. Um, you can play them in uh, portrait or landscape. We won't really look at those too much. I'm really focusing on the tables themselves. Uh, portrait games like Centipede or Galaga would look amazing on this. Uh, landscape mode, you're obviously cutting it off a little bit, so it won't look as good that way. Um, you can... There's leaderboards on it that I have displaying here that are local as far as what your scores are and global. You can play uh, uh, little online games that you can win things through arcade, uh, uh, excuse me, through uh, at games. Uh, there's other ways you can expand this through the company itself. This comes with a D-pad on it that allows you to scroll through the different uh, tables and games. But when you're playing the arcade games, this is not ideal because you have to, with one hand, use the D-pad and hit these buttons for firing or action buttons. But you can expand this by getting a control deck, which is about $200 through at games that would have a joystick and buttons on here that make playing the arcade games that much better. You can do things like getting a, uh, a LED marquee, uh, I believe it's a bit pixel HV thing that you can connect to this and play an animated marquee on the top. I think that will go for $300. You can reserve it now for $50, but ultimately it's going to be like $300. There are things you can do to modify this. Like I've seen people change the back glass to a larger screen. Uh, you can get a little... Uh, LCD screen that'll play things uh, down here. You can modify the speakers, which honestly would probably be a good idea because we'll get into that a little bit. These speakers aren't that great. Um, what else? Yeah, you can connect your PC to this via the OTG. You can connect your Nintendo Switch to this and through other services play tables on this. You can expand this to play thousands upon thousands of games. You can uh, uh, purchase these flash drives through uh, something like Etsy and play uh, uh, thousands of more tables on this. I know I've seen where you can get a flash drive that'll have like a thousand different pinball tables on it. Or you can get one that plays arcade games that have a couple thousand on it. I've seen those go from anywhere from $35 to $71. So there's a lot you can do with this. I won't get into any of the great details. We're really going to focus on the machine itself and some of the tables, not all of them. Because if I go into what you can do with this thing and different ways you can expand it, this video will be well over an hour long. And we don't want to do that. So what we'll do is we'll take a, a, a look at this, uh, show you the, the layout of it, um, play some of the uh, tables on it. Uh, take a gander at some of the things you can do settings wise with it. Uh, one other thing I want to say, like the dimensions on this are uh, 60 by 44 by 22, weighs about 100 pounds. It came very well packaged from Ad Games. Um, lots of hard, you know, core foam on it. Unbelievably well packaged. If you get this thing damaged, trust me. Somebody put some effort into it, and it wasn't because of any poor packaging by At Games. I seen where it came in uh, two boxes: one that had the play field and a separate box for the uh, back glass. However, I got it in one box. Was able to put it together in about fifteen minutes by myself. Which is this comes on one piece. You just kind of bolt on the legs. You screw on the back glass and hook a cable up to it. Plug it in, and you're good to go. So, like I said, uh, we're going to look at this. I'm just reviewing this out of the box. For those that aren't incredibly tech savvy as far as how to connect your PC or your uh, expanding the uh, back glass board. So, just what you can do by just turning it on. So, why don't we take a look at it and see if this is something you'd be interested in purchasing. It's pretty awesome. Okay. Here we are looking at the front of the machine where you can see the uh, layout here. On the left would be the rewind button, so you can go back from the menus. This would be the uh, 
front nudge button. This uh, system has a, a uh, accelerometer on it, so by jiggling the machine, you can move the ball. Um, my accelerometer seemed to be malfunctioning. So it was actually just kind of locked in uh, tilt mode, which got to be annoying, so I turned it off. They do updates to the firm firmware from time to time, as well as updates to the tables. Uh, and I had a recent update and didn't check to see if they fixed the accelerometer issue. But uh, actually, the nudge button seemed to work just fine. Uh, I actually prefer it that way. Uh, this would be the start button or the select button. Uh, this is the home button in our plunger, which uh, feels like the real deal. Pull it back, let it go. You're good to go. This is a false coin slot and coin thing. This uh, It's a nice little feature, but it's uh, not coin operated, if uh, that excites you. So on the left side here, you see your flipper button, and this would be your left nudge button. They're close together, so if you're playing and you need to nudge the ball, it's right there. Pretty handy. And obviously, same buttons are on the other side. And this here is the uh, D-pad that I was speaking of. This will give you uh, the ability to uh, move around in the menus. And like I said, playing um, games on this are a little bit unruly. Uh, because you actually have to uh, kind of play it like this. With the way the buttons are mapped. And that's a pain in the butt. Probably would be easier if you could uh, do the shoot and action buttons with the uh, flipper buttons, but nevertheless, this is how they have it, and this is why playing with the control deck would be much better, and I will definitely be upgrading to that in the future. But as you can see, it is a beautiful system. It's a nice screen on it, very well lit as far as brightness goes. It has a nice back glass with a lit marquee. So, before we actually start playing the games, let me just quick tell you some of the issues that I have with this. You're going to hear that the speakers aren't the best. Uh, sometimes they can be too quiet. Sometimes they can be a little bit on the loud side. There are adjustments that you can make to it, but uh, ultimately it probably be better to get a better set of speakers, uh, which is possible. You can very easily modify it. Uh, another issue I have is actually a result of that lit marquee because when you're playing the game I believe you could see it right about here uh, you see the reflection of the marquee it's slightly distracting and I know uh, it distracts uh, some people enough that they actually turn off that lit marquee or they put uh, something like a piece of cardboard over the over it to uh, prevent the reflection doesn't bother me that much, and uh, I'm probably just going to leave it as it is. The other issue that uh, some people have with this, and I can agree with them, it is actually an issue, is the uh, haptic feedback that this uh, machine possesses that I did not mention. Haptic feedback it allows you to sort of feel some of the uh, effects of the game that uh, mimic uh, actual pinball machines. I believe they use speakers called like exciter speakers. I don't believe they use solenoids uh, to uh, cause that effect. But nevertheless, what, on certain tables, what it does is it causes um, this to vibrate a little bit, which can be annoying, especially with the more bassier sounds. Uh, some people say that just by pressing on it helps uh, alleviate that issue. Uh, I can tell you that it doesn't. It still vibrates. But I am told that if you get the uh, control deck with the uh, the joystick on it, that that actually does not vibrate. So why don't we take a quick look at the uh, main screen. This is the menu. Uh, if you look at the top uh, where it says tables, uh, this is where all the purchase tables are. Uh, the ones with the uh, uh, without the black border are the Zachariah tables, and these are the Gottlieb that came pre-installed. 
and as we scroll through here you can see where all the various tables are if you look at some of these like uh nautilus some of these look like they're duplicates you have a, a, a style that's uh, i'd say more reminiscent from the 80s uh, you have nautilus in the middle here that says that it is from 2018 and then a retro version that looks more like something that will come out of the 50s or 60s so some of the tables have three different versions they're all completely different from one another uh, we'll show you some of the varieties as far as that is concerned uh, so like you see shooting rapids you have shooting the rapids shooting the rapids 216 or 2016 shooting the rapids retro so there's a ton of games on here i'm going to show you some of the, my uh, more favorite ones if you uh, scroll to the top uh the, your main menu you'll see over here we're going to the arcade net which has the uh, arcade games that you can play they're not the greatest like uh some of them you'll see here like bad street brawler and flip shot some of these aren't you know very well known i have these standard arcade net subscription and there's like a lot of shooter games that are, are decent games i believe even metal slug is on here yeah right here on the bottom they're okay but like i said they're difficult to play without a arcade stick and certainly a fighting game like here king of monsters uh would be next to impossible to play without it uh, here is the bring your own game feature. We won't really get into that But uh, you can play games off of the cloud and stream them that way I haven't broached that yet because there's other options that would probably function better than that You have your app store which is loading here. Let's give it a second And here is where you can purchase your tables uh if you look here is the Zachariah tables volume one through four, which I think is like a hundred and some bucks, maybe more that has, uh, uh, all the original packs that you can get when the Zachariah tables were available prior to when the fifth volume came out. Uh, you can see that I didn't purchase volume one, but I have like two, three and four in a sample pack. Uh, you have a track mode which basically is a, a screensaver. You have your title tables. There are three volumes. The pinball table sampler from Zachariah, which I uh, actually got for free by purchasing it through Sam's Club. You have uh, coin ops, which is another way to play games that we won't get into. Again, if we, I delved into this, this video will be far too long uh and that's it for that let's go over to settings to show you what we can do up here at the top is where you can connect your wi-fi this is where if you create uh an account through at games arcade net you would sign in here uh there has been an issue that i've heard other people report and i did temporarily have an issue where the system signs you out and then you have to sign back in it'll do that sometimes if you lose your connectivity um and it's a little unruly as far as how you would enter your password in because you're doing it with the D-pad. But it's not that bad. Uh, you have wireless pairing here up at the top. You have Arcade Play Link where you can play some of your uh, At Games Legends systems and uh, plug them into here and play what you have on there through here. Um, OTG mode is where you can hook up your uh, computer or your Nintendo Switch to play games. Wireless control deck uh, mode. HDMI pinball. It's another way where you can connect your uh, PC to this to play it. Uh, basic settings. Account settings. My digital locker. This is where if you purchase uh, the table packs online this is where you could access it from here privacy policy version up at the top left there is where you can update your firmware here's your device info health check you can do 
many different functions through this. Again, we're not going to get into that. This is where you can format to connect your flash drive. Uh, when you download tables, you need the flash drive in order to store the games. You can't store them in the system itself. I believe I have a 128 gig flash drive on there. Actually, it might be a little bit bigger than that, uh, which stores a lot of tables on it. Uh, data manager, we won't get into that. Upload system log, game pack. Uh, another way you can actually do it. Uh, download your games. There's a couple different options. Uh, pinball settings this is where you can adjust things like, uh, why don't we even go into that? You can adjust the master volume, the effects volume, music volume, the haptic feedback, uh, which I actually did turn back on. Uh, display mode, which is a cabinet. You could do different things like, uh, he crops it differently or flips it, uh, in a horizontal mode, which is useless. Uh, flipper mode, flippers inverted. Don't know why you would want to do that. Pro button mode. Uh, you can adjust the, uh, backboard on it, the back box. Uh, various different things you can do with that. And you could do live streaming through Facebook or I think it's YouTube. Let's click on that real quick. Uh, yeah, Facebook and YouTube, and I don't know what that is in the middle. Twitch, I believe. Uh, where you can stream directly to your account. I'm not quite sure why you would want to do that, but... Nevertheless, the option is there. Here's where you can really see where that reflection can be annoying. You can do voice chat. Not quite sure why you would want to do that or why it's even there. Nevertheless, it is. And then back to the beginning. So why don't we look at some tables? sound much easier to drain the ball as you can see but look at the detail of that ball definitely has a 3d look to it in texture whereas the Gottlieb tables are a little bit more flatter and muted tones and in it just kind of looks like it's sliding across the board. Whereas this one is animated better. You hear, you can even hear the sounds of it rolling. Definitely more realistic. So if you want to exit a game, you hit the um, home button that's on the right front, which brings up this menu where you will see a couple options, if you can see it between that uh, marquee reflection there. At the top is a call attendant button. There are some tables where the ball can actually get stuck. And if you hit the call attendant button, that will release it and put it back into the play field for you actually by the plunger. You can quit play where eh, you're just not happy with how the game's going. You can go back and start the game over again. Quick game goes back to your main menu. 
leaderboards where you can see the local score, uh, high scores, as well as the global, rules of the game, and settings that you can adjust by table, not just by the default, where you can set it up as a whole throughout all the tables. You can readjust it by the table as well. So we're going to play right here, Rescue 911, which is one of the Gottlieb tables. We will see a difference between these and the Zachariah ones. So as you can see, they're colorful. Uh, the lighting isn't as realistic. The, the uh, artwork in it is more cartoony. The animation is a bit more cartoony. It seems flatter. Definitely playable, but you can definitely see a difference as far as lighting is concerned. You can also see here how the ball seems more flat. Doesn't really show any kind of texture when compared to the uh, Zachariah tables. You'll see it when uh, it's actually playing. See how it looks like the ball is more or less gliding across instead of rolling?
journey begins. at enough tables here to show you what the uh, machine is capable of so why don't we uh, just scroll over to arcade net and I'll show you uh, one of the uh, arcade games you can play and what it's basically going to look like but again you're going to play using the d-pad on the uh, uh, control deck here and the two buttons on the front the uh, uh, reverse button and the front nudge button the front nudge button being the power button to show you how unruly it is playing it this way which is why you would prefer to use the uh, game stick control deck so why don't we take a look at one of these things so here's a game called un defense force earth joker which is a shooting game hard to play Especially in games like these where you have to uh, dodge things. It's hard to do it with a D-pad. With a uh, arcade stick. It would obviously be much easier. I'm really not going to show you any of these. Perhaps in the future when I get the uh, control deck. you metal slug which is extremely difficult to play on this easier with a stick. So that is our look at the At Games Legends pinball machine. Uh, to conclude this, is it worth it? I think it is. $700 to $750 is not chump change to a lot of us. But to me, this is the cheapest, best option there is out there. It's better than uh, the arcade one-up machines as they uh, stand now. It's cheaper than if you get a custom virtual cabinet. And certainly more than if you got an actual a pinball machine then you're talking thousands of dollars so for this price point i think this is good is it without issues no as i already said the vibration issues issues with the speaker uh, and whatnot most of which can be resolved uh, i had a couple minor hiccups in regards to uh, connecting to my account and uh, people have reported that the customer service with that games isn't the best and I can tell you that it isn't what little interaction I had with them it took 24 hours to respond didn't really resolve the issues fortunately there are options on YouTube 
There's Facebook groups and there's message boards out there that with a little research, you can resolve these problems. Another, another issue with this is the warranty. If you get it through At Games, it only has a 30 day warranty, which is kind of crappy. Doesn't show that they have much confidence in the product. I believe you get a 90 day warranty if you get it through Sam's Club, but not everybody's a member. But as I said, I personally think this is probably the best option for you out there. I love it. My kids love it. My son's playing this constantly. And uh, I think uh, if you give it a shot, you would actually like it too. But that should conclude this video for now. I have hopefully some more things in the pipeline that I can put out there soon. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.